The Delhi High Court in its judgment dated April 2, 2024 has granted divorce to celebrity chef Kunal Kapoor on grounds of cruelty by wife. A family court in Delhi had earlier refused to grant divorce to Kapoor post which he appealed this order in the High Court. Now what was this case all about? The parties got married in April 2008 and the son was born to them in February 2012. Uh, the 45 year old husband in this case is a renowned indian celebrity chef who has hosted and judged multiple seasons of master chef india while the respondent wife on the other hand holds a masters degree in arts what is the background to this case the couple had met through a matrimonial website and according to the husband he was very clear from the beginning that he wanted his wife to live in a joint family that is with him and his parents and that was a precondition set before marriage as per him the wife had agreed and only then the marriage had taken place after undergoing humiliation and harassment over the years finally uh, the husband decided to move out of his home and file for divorce under the hindu marriage act the parties in this case have been living separately since the year 2015 now let us first understand what were the allegations by the husband Some of the allegations that Kunal Kapoor has leveled are uh, initial demands by the wife of of, of upgrading from a small uh, Maruti Zen car to buying a luxury car. Now he claims that this is at a time when he was struggling to make his career alongside meeting the household expenses for the family. Then he goes on to say that the wife constantly taunted him by uh, you know saying that he was not being able to provide her with a luxurious life. even though she was fully aware of his financial status prior to marriage these taunts and humiliation were not just in private but they also extended in front of his friends by calling him a man of limited means who could not afford a big house in the next set of allegations the husband also informed court that in a fit of rage the wife would often throw crockery and other household articles at him and even his parents In the year 2010 the wife unilaterally quit her job without consulting her husband and informed him that it was now his duty to maintain her After quitting the job the husband claims that uh, she would remain idle through the day sit in isolation in her room and also instruct the maid to cook separate food for her Kapoor also said that as a husband he did his best to uh, make her happy take her out on numerous holidays whether in India or abroad but every time they would go on a holiday it would turn out to be a sour experience because of her behavior now let's come to july 2010 when his career took off and he was selected as the television show master chef judge and uh, now he claims that the wife was not able to handle his fame and she kept picking on fights on menial reasons he added that she was becoming a constant source of embarrassment and humiliation for him and not just uh, she did not just call the police at his matrimonial home but once she also barged into the yashrat studios where he was actually shooting for master chef in mumbai he even said that when they were expecting their first child in 2011 uh, the wife would fake threats of dialing police you know uh, calling them and uh, kind of you know uh, threatening them to file complaints but later she would just mock saying that i was trying to fix my husband straight and after the birth of the child also in 2012 the wife uh, did not change her behavior and she would dial 100 and summon the police uh, you know uh, cooking up false stories against the husband and his family this continued for years and now it had come to a point where uh, kapoor thought that it was best for him to move out of that home to save his parents from further harassment and therefore he even rented out a 3 bhk in gurugram but uh, the wife's erratic behavior still persisted and ultimately he had to file for divorce under the hindu marriage act and since 2015 the couple has been living separately we have heard what were the allegations by the husband and it is only fair that we also hear the other side that is what were the allegations and defense by the wife in this case the wife informed court that all these allegations which were being leveled by the husband were baseless and misleading in collusion with the in-laws because uh, they were kind of trying to create drama to force her either uh, you know just leave the matrimonial home by giving her divorce or even drive her to commit suicide she told the court that she had to quit her job because it was her in-laws who were not happy with her job hours 
then uh, she goes on to also accuse the husband and laws of dowry demands right from choosing a fancy wedding venue uh, you know to buying furniture appliances and also bringing in finances from her father for an apartment that the couple had booked in gurugram now coming on to dialing the police the wife justified her actions citing provocation by the husband and the in-laws not just this uh, she has also accused her husband of infidelity and unreasonable sexual demands after he tasted fame the trial court in 2018 refused to grant divorce to kapoor uh, saying that he had failed to bring the acts of the respondent wife within the ambit of cruelty now this 2018 order was then challenged by kapoor in the delhi high court so what did the delhi high court find in this case and what did they have to say the bench of justice suresh kumar kett and justice neena bansal krishna heard the parties and concluded that the wife's conduct definitely fell under the ambit of cruelty of the hindu marriage act 1955 the bench said that when such is the nature of one spouse towards the other it brings disgrace to the very essence of marriage and there exists no possible reason as to why the husband should be compelled to live while enduring this kind of agony of living together the high court bench was also of the opinion that the wife made baseless allegations and displaced a lack of empathy and dignity towards the husband and that also constitutes cruelty towards him calling out her random allegations of infidelity uh, you know the court observed that she could not really provide any specific instances or evidence beyond some photographs based on her presumptions of kapoor's illicit affairs to this the court said that such baseless arguments when made about a person who is regularly in the public eye having a long lasting effect on his reputation tarnishes his image amongst his peers and therefore this too will amount to cruelty we must inform you that kapoor had also placed on record a video in the court where uh, his wife could be seen shouting and growling at him uh, without even bothering that the child was crying right next to them to this the court said that you know screaming loudly or using filthy language even if it is not directly abusing the spouse is also very harsh to expect the spouse at the receiving end to accept it lastly the court also observed that while she would keep dialing the police she never really filed any police complaint uh, to this the court said that had there actually been any grievance against the husband or his family she might have not sent the police back calling it her family matter and the court also noted that the shows that perhaps somewhere she also had remorse to her conduct and understood that she may not be able to prove against her misbehavior thus the delhi high court reversed the family court order and uh, it granted divorce to the husband in this case on grounds of cruelty by wife so what is our take in this india does not legally recognize domestic abuse domestic violence mental physical sexual cruelty against husbands The only recourse a man has from a bad abusive marriage is civil grounds for divorce under the Hindu Marriage Act. Now, the grounds for divorce under the Hindu Marriage Act are also fault based, which means that unless parties are able to prove instances of abuse that would have happened in the four corners of their home, divorce cannot be automatically granted on mere separation even if the parties have been living apart for years and decades. Now how do you really prove this kind of cruelty or you know abuse because if there is a physical abuse you may still have a medical certificate but proving instances of verbal and mental abuse are almost impossible particularly for the men because you know they are still perceived to be the stronger sex or the ones who are the perpetrators of a crime uh, if you look at this case uh, it has taken 9 years for the man to get divorce and even now the wife still stands a chance to appeal this particular judgment in the supreme court uh according to me contested divorce cases are only means to serve ego of the contesting spouse or perhaps serve the interests of lawyers from both sides by the time justice is actually served a man has already lost out on his prime years of life and then that divorce decree is almost meaningless What are your thoughts in this case? 
what are your thoughts on the existing divorce laws in india do let us know in the comments below you can follow us on our social media handles which is x telegram facebook uh, instagram the id is at the rate voice for men in and uh, do hit that bell icon so that you can get an update as in how we broadcast our new video thank you very much for watching and we'll keep coming back with more videos on our youtube channel voice for men india until then namaste jai hind